Allah Rahman Rahim. Uh, welcome to video number 424. In this video, I am going to estimate uh, a system of simultaneous equations involving demand and supply function, and uh, I am using a uh, status software. Uh, some of the most common simultaneous equation systems encou encountered, encountered are supply and demand models. A simple system of uh, demand and supply could be specified as uh, follows, where QD is a function of price, price of competing goods and uh, income of the consumer uh, plus epsilon. Uh, supply function uh, is uh, equal to uh, own price, uh, then we have price of raw materials and uh, finally uh, error term epsilon 2. And the equilibrium condition is that uh, in equilibrium uh, QD must be equal to Q sub QS. That is quantity demanded should be equal to the quantity supplied. Uh, in this uh, system uh, Q is the quantity of a product uh, produced and sold. Uh, price is the price of the product that is own price. Uh, P compete is the price of a competing product that is a substitute income is the average income level of the consumers and uh, pra is the price of uh, raw materials used to produce uh, this product. To provide a concrete illustration of the effects of simultaneous equations, uh, we can use simulated data for the above system of equations by using known coefficients and uh, disturbance properties. Specifically, in this uh, video lecture, I am going to use simulated data as per below equations, where demand equation is equal to 40, 40 is the constant and minus 1 is the coefficient of own price, plus 0 0.25 is the coefficient of uh, substitute price or competing product, uh, 0 0.5 is the coefficient of uh, income of the consumer and epsilon 1 is the error term. In the supply equation, 0 0.5 is the coefficient of uh, price uh, minus 0 0.75 is the coefficient of price of raw material and uh, epsilon 2 is the error term for supply equation. So both epsilon i is normally distributed with 0 mean and um, variance equal to 3.8 whereas epsilon 2 is normally distributed with uh, 0 mean and uh, variance equal to 2.4. This is simulated. Uh, for comparison, we can estimate the supply and demand equations separately by OLS. I mean, we will use the same uh, simulated data and uh, we will estimate uh, supply and demand equations separately using the ordinary least square method. The estimates for the demand equation may be seen after we estimate these uh, two equations in stata. Uh, so let me go to data file. I have already opened uh, my file. So let me first of all regress the demand function uh, by OLS. So the command is regress quantity on price, price compete and income. Now this is the output of the regression. Uh, if you remember in the equations in the simulated data. Uh, this coefficient for the own price in the demand function was minus 1, but here it is positive. Uh, so, this, there is uh, some problem with this uh, estimation. So, and uh, next, all of the coefficients in this uh, regression are uh, insignificant, that is, the, uh, the coefficient of own price is uh, insignificant the coefficient of uh, the competing or the substitute good is also uh, stat statistically insignificant and that of income is also statistically insignificant. So, uh, we should not uh, trust on this, we should not rely on this regression. So, there is some problem with this. After this, I will regress the supply function using the OLS and uh, in this equation, uh, the coefficient for the own price is 0 
it's not a problem this is positive as uh, expected and the price of the raw material the coefficient is minus 0.86 and this is significant but these coefficients are uh, uh, quite different from what we uh, saw in the simulated equations so let me tell you something now if we examine these coefficient from these regression we may note that they are not close to the known parameter used to generate the simulated data in particular the pass the positive coefficient on price in the demand equation stands out we constructed our simulated data to be consistent with economic theory people demand less of a product if its price rises and more if their personal income rises although the price coefficient is statistically insignificant the positive value can start con contrasts starkly with what is predicted from economic price theory and the minus one a value that we used in the simulation similarly we are disappointed with the insignificance and level of of the coefficient on average income uh, the supply equation has correct signs on the two main parameters but their levels are different from the known values in fact the coefficient on price is 0.72 which is different from the simulated parameter of 0.5 at the 5% level of significance so all of these problems are to be expected uh, we explicitly constructed the simulate uh, simultaneous system of equation that violated one of the assumptions of least squares specifically the disturbance were correlated with one of the regressors that is the price so two stages least squares can be used to address the correlation between regressors and disturbances using instruments for the endogenous variable price two stages least square will produce consistent estimates of the parameters in the system so for that purpose uh, we may use instrumental variable regression for the two stages least square uh, where uh, price of raw material in the supply function is uh, instrumented for uh, price in the demand function and uh, there are two uh, exogenous variable uh, that is price of uh, the substitute and income so here is the output of the two stages least square uh, for the demand function now the coefficient of own price is negative and uh, it is a uh, minus 1 and uh, this is significant statistically significant the coefficient on uh, substitute price is positive and significant similarly the coefficient on income is positive and significant so the results uh, have been improved as compared to the uh, ols estimation of the demand from similarly we can also use two stages least square instrumental variable regression uh, for the supply function where uh, price of the competing good and income in the demand function have been used as instruments for price in the supply function and uh, price of raw material is uh, taken as uh, exogenous and uh, this is the estimated uh, regression uh, the instrumental variable regression involving two stages least square for the supply function and now uh, price in the supply function uh, has a positive coefficient which is equal to 0.57 uh, and uh, it's significant that is uh, similarly the price of raw material has a negative coefficient and is is significantly um statistically significant now we are now much happier with the results with these results the coefficients are now close to the simulated ones and uh, significance uh, of the various uh, coefficient are also okay now uh, we may also use three stages least square for estimating the same supply and demand uh, system and for this purpose i'll uh, use these commands first i will use this global demand and then i will use this uh, this command for uh, supply and after this uh, i will use uh, this uh, rec3 command uh, in which uh, price is uh, treated as endogenous variable and uh, here is the estimation of the system 
now this uh, three stages least square uh, has estimated a system of these two equation that is q demand quantity demanded that is the demand function and this is the supply function uh, this uh, r square is a uh, 0.59 this one is minus so we will discuss this this should not be minus and uh, these are the coefficient of uh, the price that is minus 1.01 this is close to the simulated one highly significant price of the competed good is also highly significant and uh, this is also uh, this is significant at uh, 10 percent this is significant at 5 percent and this is significant at 5 percent so these coefficients are okay and the significance level are also okay coming to supply uh, uh, function uh, in this simultaneous equation system uh, this uh, coefficient was 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.57 uh, this is highly significant price of raw material with a negative coefficient of 0 0.78 is also uh, significant and now i will uh, explain this a little bit uh, more and uh, i'll go to slide 11 and uh, if you see this is the same this is the same uh, estimation that I just did with three stages least square. Now the use of three stages least square or uh, two stages least square is essentially an efficiency issue. The coefficients of the demand equation from three stages least square are close to the coefficients from two stages least squares and those of the supply equation are identical. The later case was mentioned earlier for the systems with some exactly identified equations. However, for the demand equation, we do not expect the coefficients to change systematically uh, what we do what we do expect from the three stages least square are more precise estimate of the parameters given the validity of our specification and uh, rec 3's use of the covariance among the disturbance let us summarize the results with OLS we got obviously biased estimates of the parameters you remember the coefficient of the price in the demand function was positive although it was insignificant but the algebraic sign was against the economic theory no amount of data would have improved the OLS estimates no matter how much large size we might have used so the they are inconsistent in the face of the violated, uh, violated uh, OLS assumptions uh, with two SLS we obtained consistent estimates of the parameters and these would have improved with more data with the three SLS we obtain consistent estimates of the parameters that are more efficient than those obtained by the two SLS this means that although the estimates of the two SLS were also consistent but they were not efficient on the other hand we obtain consistent estimates of the parameters with three stages least square which are more efficient than those obtained by the uh, two stages least square without explicit equation names regression 3 always assumed that the dependent variable should have used to name equations when each equation has a different dependent variable this rule causes no problems and produces easily interpreted result tables if the same dependent variable appears in more than one equation however a rec 3 command will create a unique equation name based on the dependent variable and that you saw in the estimation because equation names must be used for cross equation test uh, you have more control in this situation if explicit name are uh, placed on the equations uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly do subscribe and uh, click on the bell icon so that you can get timely notification about my other